Plant identification is just learning to identify plants. It's important because you need to know the plants that are important to your animals. But it's a complicated thing because plants are difficult to remember. Grasses, many of them look alike until you begin to know the individual differences. The reason it's important is that each producer should know the top four or five plants that his animals eat. And if he knows those, now he can monitor those plants and determine when your pasture quality is beginning to go away because if they're not eating those plants, they're eating less preferred plants that are of a lower nutritional value. There are three different forage categories that we need to delineate and identify because it's important that different animals eat different classes of plants. Cattle are primarily grass eaters. Grasses are narrow-leafed, generally uh, round-stemmed plants that grow from the base. This is important because this makes grass more suitable for grazing and especially by large mouth animals like a cow. The other categories of plants are forbs, a broadleaf herbaceous plant. They're some of the most nutritious plants in the pasture. The third category is browse. These are woody plants. Woody plants have bark and they're perennial plants, meaning they live several years. And so by knowing the different classes of plants, now you can begin to categorize what plants do I have available for not only my cattle, but for other species of animals as well. What I recommend that you do if you're trying to learn more about plants is contact some of the plant specialists in your area. National Resource Conservation Services has range specialists in most of the counties throughout all the states. These people are trained in plant identification and they should know the plants in your area. They can also recommend books. Thirdly, you can begin to build your own plant book. Now that cameras are on phones, you can take your own pictures. If you can't identify it, you can send it to these range specialists and ask them if they can identify it for you. And then you can take these pictures, put a name on them, and you can begin to build your own plant book for your part of the world. In our next video, we'll bring it all together to talk about nutritional requirements for cattle throughout the year. With all three of these videos, you can take your knowledge of grazing behavior, what plants are available to your cattle, and their nutritional requirements throughout the year, and monitor how well your pastures are providing nutrients to your herd.